Here's a short video for lab 5, question 2. Uh, I did the question 1 for the uh, in the document, so I submit a PDF for question 1. For question 2, uh, the question is uh, we need to create uh, exactly three process by using one parent process. So, um, I'm using my virtual machine here. I installed the Ubuntu here, so I'm going to enter the full screen. And uh, I'll open terminal here. Basically, I can use SSH to connect to my uh, my school account. Yes. Okay, password. So now I'm on the school server. Yes, we can go Let's go to lab 5. Let's see if we can make it bigger. That's not what I want. Maybe do this. I'm going to open another terminal. And in this terminal, I'm going to check the code. And, uh, but before I'm doing that, let me create a script file. Script in the five. Now I'm creating my script file here. I see my code. So here's my code. Uh, we need to create a three process form by using one parent. So here's the first line, so just print out the, the main parent or PID. Uh, the process ID and then the fork function will create. Uh, yeah. We write some, write down some comments. So the first one is uh, create uh, the first child process. And uh, the PID basically the return value is uh, mm, the return value is the child process. So it the the process ID. So it's not zero, and uh, if it equals zero, uh, that will be in the child process. So the child process, the first child process will run this code, but the parent will continue run this part of the code. So in this part of the code, it's going to uh, so it will create the second. Process child process by using the fork function and uh, basically it's in the parent uh, process so the PID value won't be zero it will be the process ID for the child process so if it equals zero so this part of the code will run in the second process uh, and uh, the parent uh, the current process current parent process will keep uh, running this part of the code and in this part of the code it will go to create another 
so it will create the third child process by using another function. So basically it's parent process, so the return value will be the process ID of the child, so it won't be zero if it's zero. Uh, so this part of the code will be running in the child process, basically the, the, child, the third child process. And uh, uh, the parent process will sleep for two seconds, just wait for the all the child process will uh, be killed by the system earlier than the parent process. So basically this is the code, I'm going to save it. Close it. And uh, I'm going to compile it. Fire. There's no error zone. Then I think this is the right. So basically, we can see the the main um, process uh, or the main parent process is uh, the PID is. Uh, one two three seven three. So the and uh, the child process it created the uh, seven four seven five and seven six. So basically, this is uh, the whole program. Uh, all three child process was uh, were created by the just one parent process. Uh, the parent process ID is one two three seven three, and the three child process is. Uh, just follow the follow the seven three seven four or seven five seven six. So basically, this is uh, uh, the second question for lab five, and uh, look at this. So it will save my script file and uh, timing file. Now I can just uh, end the recording. So as this is that, go to my recording.